Right now at six, the search for Madalena Kojakari gaining extra firepower, and it's not from police. It has now been 67 days since the 11 year old was last seen getting off her school bus. And you remember the search for her officially didn't start, though, until three weeks after that video, because authorities say her mother did not immediately report her missing. And because of that, police arrested both mother and stepfather and charged them for failing to report a missing child. They remain in custody tonight. The case has gotten a lot of attention online in true crime communities, many trying to find out what happened to Madalena. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner spoke to a woman who's trying to crack the case herself. Updates from the Cornelius Police Department have been few and far between. Most of what we've learned in this case has been through the court system, but there is an online community working to learn more about what happened to Madalena. There are far more questions than answers about what happened to Madalena Kojikari after she stepped off of the school bus on November 21st. It's the last time she was seen publicly. Her mother, Diana Kojikari, and stepfather, Christopher Palmiter, were both arrested for taking three weeks to report Madalena missing. In the weeks since the investigation started, so-called web sleuths are trying to find some of those answers. We want to be a voice for them. They don't have a voice. They can't speak out. So we we have to have people that are willing to you know take that stand. And Michelle Sutton says she's always had a passion for true crime. She researches missing child cases and shares the facts on her YouTube channel. She's also part of a Facebook page dedicated to finding Madalena. You know, if we can find that one tip that may say, hey, you need to you need to question them about this and they go in and that's the one that breaks them, then that's, you know, I don't see the problem. Officials with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children say most attention on the case can help. They say online forums can cause rumors and theories to spread, but the flyers, billboards, and online posts sharing Madalena's picture and story could elicit tips. Don't let that information slip by. If the, if the community feels it's important, then report it. Sutton says their group's main goal is to help find and bring justice for Madalena. But we still need to keep their faces and their story out if they've not been found. And right now, you know, Madalena still has not been found. She's still out there somewhere. Um, and we're still hoping that we find her and bring her home. Madalena's mother and stepfather will be back in court on March 2nd. In the studio, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte.